my channel so today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys and it's on this look right here I've been wearing this look a lot lately especially on days where I just want to wear minimal makeup if I'm in a rush I've also used products that I've been using a lot lately so this might not be a natural look to some of you but it is to me normally I wear so much more makeup than this but there's no rules to makeup guys, you can do whatever you want. If I wear something on my skin, doesn't mean you have to, like literally you can just make it in your own way. But yeah, I'm just going to share some tips with you guys. Chat along through this video um, and I hope you guys will enjoy it and we shall jump straight into the video. Okay, let me just get my hair out the way. It's now, I don't even know what time it is, I forgot my phone. I'm going to try and finish this video before my siblings get home because otherwise... It's going to be impossible to film. You know when you like tie your hair in like really tight buns and go to bed with it but it's still wet? Like it didn't really do much for my hair. Like it just made it go like really frizzy. So probably won't be doing that again. My lip is like cracked right there. So I'm going to get some Wonder to Wonder Kiss. Um, it's like a lip plumping gloss. It's like I use this every single day. But it actually soothes as well. I don't know. It, it stings a little bit. But it feels like a lip oil. So just look at my lips now. And look at them in a bit. I put it right here as well. So it, it makes all this go like. It swells up. So then I've been using the MAC Prep and Prime oil stick. This is what it looks like. I don't think I've used this in a video yet. But I got it recently. I was watching Rachel Leary's video. And... She, was, she recommended this, so I don't know if she uses it, but she, I think she was showing it on her Snapchat and then I was like, oh my god, I need this. So I'm just going to use this on my face. The only weird thing is, is that it kind of feels rough when you like apply it a little bit. Like it feels like it's got like bumps in it. But then when you like kind of blend it, feels soft again. <sighs> Ow. Some people says it doesn't smell great. I think it smells fine. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna use is the MAC Conceal and Correct Duo. I'm gonna use the orange side today. This is a look I wore yesterday as so well. I just couldn't be bothered to wear much, to be honest, so. I just put a tiny bit because we're not wearing foundation. I'm going to put a face product but it's not foundation. Look at my lips. Is it me or I'm not, I swear I'm not in imagining things. Like it does plump it like, it like makes it come out like right on the tip. Like it's so weird. Okay. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to grab... So this is what I'm going to be putting on my skin. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Tinted Moisturiser. This has got SPF 30. Oh no, 15. It's got 15. But I'm actually already wearing SPF on my skin. Um, I'm wearing SPF 50. Um, obviously the 50 will take over, but it's always nice to have like SPF in your in your face products. But I've been wearing this a lot. I got it recently, but it's so good for those days where I just don't want much on my skin. It just helps to just overall even out. It's a tinted moisturiser, so guys, don't tell me like it's a foundation because it's not. I was going to wear MAC Face and Body because sometimes I like to wear that on my like, light makeup days, but it says foundation on it. So I was just like, let me not use that. Um, so that's why I'm wearing tinted moisturiser. I feel like some of you guys would really like, like to see this like being used because... Not everyone wants to wear full on makeup. Some people just want like to just overall even out your like complexion. So I feel like this is perfect for that. So what I do, I just do this. I'm in the shade medium to dark by the way. What foundation brush should I wear? Let me use the Bobbi Brown full coverage foundation brush. It literally just blends into nothing but it's got that slight, slight tint where it just gives you a nice glow. Moisturisation, it actually smells like cucumbers. So can you see, it kind of goes grey at first. That's why I just prefer to colour correct with this. 
but when it sinks into the skin it actually kind of adapts to your skin tone weirdly enough and bring it down my neck it does it smells like a cucumber mask do you guys see a difference? I feel like it definitely just like overall evens out. Like the coverage is not that much really. It just gives overall, it just like evens out your skin tone. That's what I feel like. Okay, so when I'm done with my tinted moisturizer, I'm going to put some concealer. So when I don't wear foundation or like even days when I don't even wear anything on my skin, I need to wear concealer because I just feel like that really wakes me up and like opens up my eye areas and it kind of like can you see like i've got like a hollow i've got hollow under eyelids under eyes i mean um and you kind of see like the line and i feel like that kind of takes that away as well so i'm just gonna put a little bit just under there it's like from an amazon set i did buy a few brushes on amazon they were like two pounds each three pounds each but they still haven't come yet like they take ages to come because obviously they come from china or something so i'm still waiting for that and i bought like i think three sets from the same brand and i really wanted to like do a video review on them you see like it just instantly brightens and i do like to take the first brush that i use just to like blend out the edges so that there's no harsh lines then i'm gonna grab some um, ben Nye banana powder which is like halfway through now this is like the powder that i kind of wear every day i've been using the w7 one as well a lot i really i was sharing on my snapchat that i really want to get the airspun one and the uh, sasha buttercup one apparently a lot of you said that it's quite yellow but i feel like i will still like it because it's so yellow so i always set my under eye with powder guys like I don't sweat anywhere on my face apart from like my upper lip. It, I'm just like dreading summer right now. And I do my forehead and I kind of bring the powder like here a bit. And I do my small lines. Just lightly setting the rest of my face to be honest. Now I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows. I'm using the uh, Soap and Glory brow artery like all the writing has rubbed off but this is in the shade dark chocolate seriously this brow product is so good like so pigmented i made all my friends buy it I kind of kept my hair messy because I felt like it kind of adds to like the natural look. So we'll see. I don't even know what my hair's going to look like when I let go of it. I just washed it yesterday but I feel like it's been... I feel like it hasn't been washed because I'm so used to just like blow drying it and it just blows blow dries straight. Sometimes I like clean them up but I feel like right now I don't need to do that. Okay, I'm going to clean up. I always like, I like to have it like nice and straight here. I feel like that's why I always do it. <sighs> and it also kind of hides the straight hairs that I have. I feel like that makes such a huge difference. And I do like to do a bit on the top as well. And by the way, the concealer that I've been using is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Tan Sand. By far my favourite concealer ever. Um, I think I didn't show it though. Sorry. Oh, what's that on my face? What is that on my face? I don't know. I don't even know what that was. What the hell? Okay, so then I'm just going to set my brows in place using the Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark by l'oreal if you guys don't know yet it's my favorite brow gel at the moment i've actually run out of all my other brow gels but nevertheless this is like the best one it's kind of like a dupe for the estee lauder brown now volumizing tint i had 
like it has the same holding power i just feel like brows make such a difference guys since my exam is coming up now i feel like i'm gonna make be making less videos until like i finish my exam so probably like one or two videos a week i don't think i'm gonna have three videos up today I've, I've had one up monday i can't believe it's already wednesday but i just i just need to catch up on not so much uni work right now next i'm gonna be using the mac mineralized skin finish in dark deep and oh i really i've been waiting to share this with you so i recently got the mac 135 brush i believe it was i, I believe i found this out by desi perkins and oh, like it's super thin like it's thinner than what i thought like it would be kind of looks like a tapered one but it's yeah it's basically like a tapered tapered flat brush and it's quite fluffy on the end but you're like basically at the tip that's where you get most product but like the little bristles that kind of go down is what like is diffusing your bronzer <sighs> it's like the best thing ever now i know why she loves this and i freaking love it so much so i just kind of bronze my skin with this So bronzer is definitely a must have for me. Bronzer and highlight, blush, like those are kind of products that I love to wear when I'm wearing minimal face makeup because it kind of, why is there glitter? I think there's a glitter on this brush. Um, it kind of makes your skin look, even when I have no foundation on or any product on my face, like I always wear like bronzer and stuff because it makes your skin look like you are wearing like foundation it makes your skin look so better it adds color um it helps to contour like i like to like bronze slash contour with my bronzer i only do like bronzer just uh, contour just for special occasions then on to blusher i want to use my favorite blusher i love peachy coral colors and this is the ex1 uh pretty in pretty in peach blush seriously guys like if you feel this formula like it feels like a cream but it's basically a powder it's so weird but i these blushes are so good can you believe i lost my highlight brush so i just put it on the apples it looks like i put a ton on but it's not like that in real life what the hell so i'm gonna jump actually i forgot highlight so for my highlight this i've been literally using this every single day um it's the ciate um london dewy stick it smells like vanilla but it's such a subtle scent that oh, i feel like eating it but this oh, look let me just show you like this is what my cheek looks like right now like this is just natural glow coming from the products i've already used oh, God, so scared. I wasn't recording this whole time um but what i like to do is just take my original brush that i use for my tinted moisturizer or foundation if i am wearing foundation kind of just like brush it on the top and like literally just tap it on the top highest points of my face so what i love about this is that it just makes your face well it gives you like a wet look it literally makes your skin look like it's wet Try not to go too overboard on it with this though, like for my temples I don't add extra product or for my nose. I like to put a bit on the eyes just to give a nice shine to the lids and the brow bone but if you can tell it's like so good but literally that's what I do. this is what i wear as a highlight every day like it just makes your skin look so soft just so smooth like literally makes it look like baby skin and every time i wear this like i get compliments of my skin looking soft um so now onto the eyes i'm going to curl my lashes my lashes have broken on this side and it's so annoying i don't know what caused them to break Guys, I need to revise so much. 
it's like on the back of my mind but i really wanted to film this video for you guys but yeah obviously i'm gonna use the maybelline lash sensational mascara in intense black i'm just gonna apply a bunch of mascara because seriously if i do you know that question that you get like if you were like stranded on a desert island like what products you would take or what product literally i feel like my product would be mascara And if I even uh, wanted to, I could find some like stick or something in the middle of the desert and try and do liner with the product itself. So, kind of like a two in one. You could even do your eyebrows with it, like comb them through. You can like wear black lipstick if you wanted to. But you can do a lot, especially because of the brows. Seriously, mascara is like the product to have. So I kind of let the first layer dry and then while i'm doing that i'm going to grab my maybelline master precise skinny gel eyeliner seriously like one of the best drugstore eyeliners out there and i'm just gonna like tight line with this this kind of like defines the eye Kind of go in again with the mascara. Mascara. By the way, guys, I am sending like a few makeup bits on my Snapchat and Instagram, so make sure to follow me on those. I'll write down here. But it's actually been quite helpful because I'm preparing my like makeup vanity area video for you guys, like collection video, so that's gonna be coming up soon. Um, and like I've just found so much makeup that I don't need or use, and that's taking up potential space. That I could have for like new makeup so that's why I'm just getting rid of some stuff that I don't need and I've decided to stop freelancing because it's just I'm just I've got too much stuff to do and because I already work like part-time which is Saturday Sunday like that is my contract contracted hours so it's not like I can always take the weekends off to go do freelance okay so when I'm done with that I can't God, it's crack on my lip, it's hurting so much. Come on guys, does it not look plumped? Seriously, look. It looks plumped. I don't know. Like it looks, I look like my lip is swollen, you know, like when I'm on, when I have a really bad hay fever, like everything swells for me and like it literally just does that. And it kind of smooths out. You know how like natural lips have ring, natural lip wrinkles? It kind of takes that away. Okay, so one thing that I've been wearing every day, especially in my natural days, is this Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint. This is what it looks like. It's so good. And this one's in the shade Bare. Bare Pink, actually. I have to be careful because that lip hurts so much. But it gives like a slight tint. I feel like it really brightens the lips as well might be just me but i really like this i've been wearing this a lot lately like i have really bad like under eye pigment not under eye underarm pigmentation like my underarms are just like black it's just like a black stripe and i really like i bought all the ingredients i really want to start using like lemon like i'm gonna make like, a little concoction and see if it works i just still need to make it and do it but if i do it like it's going to be everyday consistent like i want it to lighten and i know it works i want to test it out and if it works then i will do a video on it hopefully it will and oh my god i'm praying it works because i'm so sick of my dark under eyes like like it's just so dark what is this hair so i want to try and do that seriously i feel like this is natural this might not be natural to some of you but it's natural to me okay um, but yeah guys this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoy this video if you prefer me to do like more like talk through videos like this let me know in the comments because i feel like i prefer it but i want to see if you guys like it or if you just prefer me doing voiceovers but i also feel like when i do voiceovers i just sound like an idiot like i can't speak but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it um give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you're new to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye